So, Brad, when you when you looked at the um, the playoff football and and it was great playoffs, one thing that jumped out is man, the Browns need to to drastically improve their passing game. That that, and I think it starts probably with the quarterback play. Yeah, there's no question uh, that they need to um, get better quarterback play from no matter who plays the position next year. And, you know, Dave, I think that they'll – we'll hear a lot of rumors, and, and the trendy thing right now is to, you know, the copycat league stuff where you're looking at what the Rams did. Um, you're looking at what uh, – you know, how well Burrow played in the playoffs – um, and all the other quarterbacks, obviously, that took their teams to the playoffs. But I think what what will happen, un, despite all the rumors that we hear, I think we're going to end up with Baker Mayfield back here. And I think you just try to put what you can around him uh, the best as possible. Just because of the price point that he's at, I just don't know how realistic it is to get an upgrade. And the guys that, that they're mentioning, are they that big of an upgrade that it's worth it? Um, you hear Andrew Barry talk a lot about sustained success. I think we're kind of in a little bit of an overreaction period here. Um, I, I just think that they're going to want to take a look at a healthy Baker uh, at that price point. I think that they'll come in with maybe a high upside backup in case things go really poorly. But I, I think we'll hear a lot of rumors and a lot of rumblings, but I, it's my feeling in the end that we get Baker back for one more year. You know, I know that's not real popular opinion, but I think that's probably what happens. No, I, I um, you know, I completely understand if that's the way they go. And again, I, I don't think it was all Baker Mayfield. I think some of it was Baker Mayfield. Some of it was that Baker Mayfield was hurt. I think they need to upgrade the receiving core. And I think the scheme needs a, I don't know if it's a complete overhaul, but it needs to be tweaked. There were just there wasn't a way to threaten defenses through the passing game and. and a lot of that is, you know, you need that wide receiver. And some of it is you need to come up with a better scheme. Yeah, no question. And, and, and you can take kind of – and I've mentioned this a couple times on my show and other shows, but you look at Odell Beckham Jr., right? And so much of what the Browns do in their passing game oftentimes relies on timing. And it was like they could never get it right with Odell, right? But what they did in Los Angeles is they just made it simple for him, right? And even if they were doing exotic things around him, for him, he ran the routes that he's run a thousand times with any quarterback, right? He ran nine routes, out routes, you know, in routes, drags, whatever they needed to do. Um, and oftentimes they're the kind of routes where Stafford could look or your quarterback could look and see him coming out of a break where you go back and watch Brown's film and everything was so much dependent upon timing. And sometimes that uh, became very problematic with him. It was a really just a small adjustment where your quarterback can see him coming out of a break, see him getting open, see a guy throw the ball to him. Even if you're doing all kinds of different stuff around him, um, you take a talent like that and make it easy for your quarterback and him. And I think the Browns kind of mucked that up a little bit. Yeah. And um, again, let's see if they can adjust to that. Um, because you're you're going to want to make sure um, that you you, you have an offense that wide receivers feel they can be successful in, and that'll be a problem. I think you know back to that free agency topic that we had. You know uh, that's going to be a deterrent, right? Guys are going to look at the numbers that Jarvis Landry put up, the problems that Odell Beckham had, and you can even go back. It's it's a reoccurring thing. You can even go back to like Austin Hooper, right? Like, here's a guy that put up huge numbers elsewhere with in, in Atlanta and then came here and has not put up those kind of numbers. And people will point to that as a reason maybe not to come to Cleveland. Um, so, you know, even if the Browns would behoove themselves to even get some buzz out there like, hey, you know, even if it was just a leak or whatever, the Browns are looking to do this and this with their scheme pass-wise, even though it just makes kind of, you know, free agency targets uh, think twice about – that, hey, man, they're going to revamp this thing and it'll look different than it was before.